So today I want to talk about all the moon techs. Uh, the moon jump, moon walk, bunny hop and moon bonks. So that's four techniques in one, but actually every technique rely on the same mechanic. So first let's start with the moonwalk, which is the core technique behind everything. So uh, moonwalk is basically doing this. As you can see here I try to run to the right, but the slope is to the left so there is this little animation where Tesla Kid well, moonwalks basically. And that's why we call it a moonwalk. So, what is happening here? And why do I need to hold the right direction? Because if I try to do the same with the left direction, as you can see, the game just slows me down and it doesn't work. Same thing if I don't hold any direction, the game slows me down tremendously instead of doing that funny... Uh, funny little boost. So, what we're going here is that w when you land on a slope while having a lot of vertical speed, the game converts this speed into horizontal speed. You know, it's a little bit like when you throw a ball uh, in a slope, when a ball uh, falls on a slope, uh, when it touches the slope, his vertical speed is converted to horizontal speed, and so it does something like it falls and boing, it continues like that. Tesla Kid is exactly like this. Tesla Kid is basically a ball. And so when he lands on a slope, uh, his vertical speed, <laughs> his vertical speed is converted into horizontal speed. Uh, and so he gains a lot, lot, lot of horizontal speed. But the thing is that the game doesn't really like when you go above the normal speed. So the maximum speed of Tesla Kid is 7.5. I don't really know the, what unit it is. Uh, it's some arbitrary value in the game's code. So let's call that Tesla speed. So the maximum speed of Tesla Kid is 7.5 Tesla speed. Uh, and for uh, computing reasons in the game's code, when you go to the right, Tesla Kid goes to, uh, uh, to 7.5 Tesla speed. And when you go to the left, the game, go, uh, the Tesla Kid goes to minus 7.5 Tesla speed. So it's uh, a bit odd because in the real life, we can't really have uh, negative speed. You know, you always have a positive speed and a direction, but for 2D platformers um, it's easier to, to manage the speed like this. So when you go to the right you have positive speed and when you go to the left you have negative speed. And so when you go above the maximum speed, so above or lower depending on your direction, so if you go to the right and go above 7.5 or if you go to the left and go uh, under uh, minus 7.5, the game really, really, really do doesn't like that and will try to slow you down tremendously. And to do that, it will use the ground friction. And so it does something like this, where you have a lot of speed and when you land on the slope, so the slope is supposed to give you a lot of speed, but here it slows me down. Uh, if I start with a moon jump and then turn back, you will see that during the moon jump I have a lot of speed and once I turn back, the game slows me. So here I have a lot of speed and I don't turn back and it's pretty much instant. So that's not only in slopes. Let's go here. So here I can get a lot of speed, but once I touch the ground, even flat ground, the game slows me down to get me back to that 7.5 because here I go faster than 7.5 and so when I touch the ground the game slows me back uh, using the, the ground friction. So 
so that's what's happening normally but obviously something strange is going on with the moonwalks because here the game don't slows me down as much than before and the reason for that is an oversight by the developers because as i said if you hold the right direction so if you is supposed if you are supposed to go to the right the game checks if your speed is above 7.5 and if you hold the left direction the game checks if you go under minus 7.5 so if you go to uh, like minus 15 like it's the case here here i go to minus 15 and if i hold the left direction since i am under minus 7.5 the game slows me down the thing is that if I have a lot of negative speed, but I hold the right direction, since I'm supposed to go to the right, the game will just check if I am above 7.5. And with minus 15, I am under 7.5, so the game thinks that, okay, that's a valid speed, no problem here. So it doesn't use the ground friction to slow me down. And it's the exact thing with an opposite slope. If you have a slope where you need to hold the left button, the game will check if you are under minus 7.5. And so if you have 15 Tesla speed, the game won't slow you down as much as it does. You will still have the little acceleration of Tesla Kid. You know, like here I go to the right. And if I, you know, if I tap left, for example, the, the little acceleration of going left will slow my right direction, but it's not as much as the tremendous slowdown the, the ground friction does. So that's what's going on with a moonwalk. Here, I touch the ground, so my vertical speed, it converted to a lot of horizontal speed. Uh, the game I'm I hold the right button, so the game checks if my speed is above 7.5, but since I have a lot of speed, but a lot of negative speed, my speed is still under 7.5, and so the game doesn't drag me down using the ground friction. So that's Moonwalk. Now, the moon jumps. Moon jumps are basically Moonwalk, uh, where you jump to keep your speed because as I said the game uses the ground friction to slow you down But if you're in the air, obviously there is no ground friction friction So while you are in the air the game just doesn't care about your speed And it's something that you can just see like this, you know uh, If I jump to the right and release all the buttons the, the game will continue to To get me to the right at the same speed so here, I, I'm always at 7.5 speed. If I if I release all my buttons, you can see that at the bottom of the screen. Here, up. I touch nothing, but I still go to 7.5. So while you're in the, the air, you, the game doesn't modify your speed. Unless you try to go back to the left or right, the game just keeps your current speed. And moon jumps rely on that so moon jumps are just uh, moonwalks where you jump uh, and so to keep that speed so here moonwalk and then i jump and i keep my current speed so here let me do that again moonwalk and i jump and here i went so fast that i bonked on that ceiling If you want to do the perfect moon jump, there is a lot of things you need to, to know. First, your speed when you hit a slope is added to your current speed. So, for example, if here I have zero horizontal speed, when I land on the slope, the game will add the slope boost to that zero. So I won't go that fast. Otherwise, um, in the opposite, if I held here the left direction, and so if I go already to minus 7.5, the maximum speed, the game will add the slow boost to that minus 7.5, and 
and so I will go even faster. So here, whoops, sorry. Like that. So here that the moonwalk speed was added to that minus 7.5, so I went faster. The second thing to the perfect moon jump is that you have to jump at the first frame possible. Because as long as you're on the ground, even if the game doesn't use the ground friction to slow you down, you still have you still hold the opposite direction, and so your acceleration will slow you down. Slowly, but it will slow you down. So the less time spent on the ground, the greater speed you will have at the end. So here, you really need to jump at the very first frame possible. The problem is that Tesla Kid, when you jump, doesn't jump like frame one. There is a couple of jump squat frames, and you can see that if here. I jumped and I press pause, and you can see that when I jump, Tesla Kid don't leave the ground directly. There is this little pause where he's still on the ground with a jump squat animation. And during those jump squat animation, you are still considered on the ground, and so you need to hold the opposite direction even during the jump squat animation. So it's not you jump and you release directly the opposite direction, no, you need to hold it a little bit. However, once you're in the air, so when Tesla Kid is like here at the end of the jump squat, when he's in the air, you need to release the opposite direction. Otherwise, well, you will slow down a little, you know, like this. If I'm in the air, I go to the right, I'm in the air, and I tap left, I will slow down. So for the perfect, perfect, perfect moon jump, you need to already have the maximum speed, hit the slope, and jump at the very frame where you hit the slope, hold the opposite direction during the jump squat, and release it right when you leave the ground. Obviously, in a speedrun, since we are all humans, for the moment at least, uh, since we are all humans, uh, the perfect moon jump is really, really rare, but you can still have great, great speed if you are not frame perfect on your moon jumps. Um, there, is, there is one last thing you can do uh, with moon jumps, uh, is that there is another way to leave the ground than jumping when you are in the slope, and it's the blink. So once you have a blink, what you can do instead of your jump is blinking. And since blinking is instant, you don't have the jump squat animation, so you can leave the ground sooner and so keep a lot of speed. So it's... Like this. So when you touch the ground, you blink. So the game doesn't even have the time to slow you down. And you can then try to do a moon jump here to gain a little bit of height. And uh, continue getting a lot, lot, lot of speed. So that's the moon jumps and the moonwalks. And there is another place in the game where you use them is here, at the Stave Church. So you have a very long fall, so you accumulate a lot of vertical speed, and you have, conveniently, you have a slope at the bottom. So what you can do is do a common jump, like this. The, prob the problem here, you probably noticed it, is that what do we do after the moon jump? Because here, if I jump again, as you saw, the game put me back at the 7.5 speed because I touched the ground. And even if I tried to jump again, well, uh, the game just slowed me down tremendously. And so I'm back to the maximum normal speed. Well, what you can do is the exact same thing. Because Moonwalk doesn't work only on slopes. Uh, but even on a flat ground. So if you 
already go very fast and you land on the flat ground, you can still moonwalk and so jump to keep that momentum. And that's what we call a bunny hop. So let me do it. Here I missed the moon jump. Right here. So here I did two bunny hops to keep a little bit of speed. So obviously, with perf even with perfect bunny hops, you will still lose a bit of speed because you still need to hold the opposite direction. But it will allow you to keep a lot of momentum. Like here, like here. Uh, by the way, I, uh, as you can see, I do little left right. Uh, the last right input, like here, left right. The right input is not mandatory, it just during a speedrun, uh, in case of your. just in case you miss your moon jump. Uh, you hold the right direction to not get too much slowdown and get back to that 7.5 speed instead of zero speed if you if you miss the timing. But yeah, here moon jump, bunny up, bunny up. So it's not really clear what the difference between a moon jump and a bunny up here is because, well, technically they are the same thing, but the difference is that moon jumps are done on the slope. It's the same mechanic, it's the same input, but moon jumps are done on the slope to gain speed, while bunny ups are done on flat ground to maintain a maximum speed. And so exactly like moon jumps, you need to time perfectly your bunny ups for them to be really effective, but even not frame perfect bunny ups will allow you to keep some speed. Uh, moon jumps and bunny ups are a technique I really really like personally because it's really the difference between you know good and great speedrunners uh, rely a lot on the quality of their moon jumps and bunny ups. Uh, so it's really something you need to learn and practice a lot to be really really good and consistent at and it's uh, yeah it's really something I enjoy doing. And it's also one of the few techniques that don't require any item. It's something you can do at the very beginning of the game. And the difference between a good intro and an awesome intro are the quality of your moon jumps and bunny ups. And even if it doesn't seem like a lot, uh, there is a, something like 10 seconds difference on the first split uh, between a good intro but without moon jumps and an awesome intro with perfect moon jumps. You can gain 10 seconds in the first two minutes of the game with just with them, with those techniques. So it's really, it can be really, really awesome and it's really a technique I enjoy. There, in, there is one last variant of the moon techs, which are moon bonks. So, as I said, um, when you touch the ground, the game tries to slow you down, and when you touch a slope, uh, the game converts your vertical speed into horizontal speed. Uh, all of that is true, and it's even truer than it seems, because as I as I shown, it works when you fall on a slope, but it also works when you go very fast upwards and as you can see hit a slope uh, on the ceiling because ceilings are also considered ground so if you go very fast upwards and hit uh, a slope that is a, a sloped ceiling well the same rules apply you are touching something that the game see at as a ground so it will try to slow you down and if you hold the opposite direction, well, it will just uh, don't slow you down as much. And it is used at this part of the speedrun when you can do something like this. So here I got a lot of speed by moon bonking, so some kind of moonwalk, well, moon jump, but not really a jump because I, jumped, I just bonked on the ceiling. So it gave me a lot of momentum, but I didn't have to jump because, well, I'm already in the air. 
but uh, yeah you can accumulate some speed and it, in that part of the game since you have these mag magnets you can just stay in the air like this and continue gaining keeping your speed without having to bunny up or whatsoever you can also do some moon jumps uh, moonwalks like like this if i hold uh, the the right direction here like this it's some kind of moonwalk but but with the with the ends here while if i hold the right direction exactly it's exactly the same the game slows me down tremendously this this kind of moon moonwalks but on the ceiling are not really used they are only used to to trigger the moon bonks but they are not used per se but it's still a, a really good mechanic moon bonks are not really useful in the speedrun except in this specific part and well i will do videos about in-depth strategies for each room so we'll see more in details how does that work for that room but you really shouldn't try that in a speed run unless you go for a very 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 fast time it's a really really dangerous strategy but yeah moon bonks are a thing and they are <laughs> they are as, as awesome as moon jumps or bunny ups and right here for example as you saw i got a lot of speed with uh, moon bonk and since i was faster than 7.5 tesla speed I could continue here with bunny ups to keep my speed until reaching that wall. Bunny ups can be used everywhere where you have uh, a lot of speed. It can be after moon jumps, it can be after moon bonks, it also can be after you not know, just getting a lot of speed with um, a platform of magnetism or whatsoever. You can bunny up every time you go above your maximum speed. So that's it. That's all I have for for you today. I think, uh, yeah, I said everything about uh, the moon text, so moonwalk, moon jump, bunny ups, and moon bonks. Thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, see you next time.